started here on the journey, getting started on the journey. Getting started on the journey. Brother Lady's here, but we're starting on the journey. Not late because I woke up late, just late because I'm late. I'm late today for a very important day. Let's see. Let's see. Is everything good? Everything is good. Everything good. Experiments. Did a lot of catching up this weekend. Gotta send out the post to the fam. Check, check this out. What's up, y'all? Stop the violence is the name of the scene. This brother come to kick some reality. Black on black crime must cease to stop. Cause you're killing one another with a gun for rock. And on the other hand, you got the Ku Klux Klan. Promoting all your brothers cause you're killing your own man. Stupidity. Yes, you think you reign supreme. I got a question. What's up with MLK dream? A dream that a real man died for. We need to stop the violence and put our knees to the floor. And respect one another cause it's God's way. Cause now in the day, they think it premeditated. I'm crazy, but I know that's where you live. But if you don't do violence, they say that you're tripping. And you're tripping, and you don't do the wrong start. They act like you know, and give me things from the heart. Let's go to school, get a degree, and be a role model. You never know in the future that you could be somebody's idol. Stop the violence, grab a hand. This piece is the master plan. So let me ask you this yo, are oh, we yeah. in there? Pump it up one yeah. time. Increase the peace. Increase the peace. I'm about stopping violence, steady as I fuss up in this And give me silence, yo I knew a brother who used to deal a dime Sell a few quarters just to get in line He was broke, in other words, climbing But in my mind, the brother was declining A straight-A student who went straight to an F Got in a squabble with his brother and he took his last, last breath Damn, he got the juice from killing his blood mm. The only true person in his life that he loved Walking through the streets and he got caught By a bullet to the head is where he got shot I can't understand why we do what we do Execute another brother for a new pair of shoes We need to cease the violence before we start the change Cause if our children figures out that we're not in the same game It's so, over With no future to live to huh. And like us They'll become equipped to Where I'm from it's the same old stuff Blacks killing blacks Just to show they nuts Beating one another You know that's whack We need to kill the violence Cause if we don't then we all jack Say that one more time Then we all jack Peace to peace Oh, sorry, I gotta stop streaming, family. Hold on. Does it mean you're going to school to get an education that you can be in 
help the black nation. One of the violence in the world, it's a simple fact. If you look around, race the from black, so take your hands out your pants and listen up. Got the boogie boogie man just told you what's up. Increase the peace! Increase the peace! Right, we up. It looks like everything is right. We are streaming today on our private channel on Facebook. I wonder if we can have panel private channels on YouTube as well. But the goal is to get people over to gnj.media. Gnj.media. Sign up. Much progression be. But hey, it's time for us to get started because I'm running behind. Joker's my phone at Swagger. I'm catching lights like a spectrum. Props are collecting my kids as if I want to wreck them. Brothers, women, and children, make sure you protect them. Let loose the abuse. You never know how it would affect them. Man, I don't just be my blinky. My hair's not kinky. It's kinky. So when you see me, all right, let's get it. Shots out the necessary and creamy dark. Shouts out to the spirit fam. Shouts out to spirit. I mean, shouts out to all of y'all. We about to kick it. Oh, Storm 9000. Damn, I'm getting old. Damn, I'm old. What? The what? The blink, the stink, the funk, baby, come. The freak, the stink, the funk, baby, come. Shots out. Here we go. Drink your water. Come on, come on. Drink your water, but first, take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath. Take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath. Take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath. Drink, 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 drink. Or should I say, breathe, breathe, then drink. Take a breath, take your breath, take your breath. Grab your glass for some water. Grab your glass. Lift your pitcher of that water. Or bottle. Get that pitcher of that water. Uh huh. Simply pour some water. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Or should I say, lift, pour, then drink. Now move your body and drink some water. Move your body. Move your body and drink some water. Move your body. Move your body and drink some water. Bam. Just move your body. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Or should I say, move, move, then drink. Move your body. Move your body. Now raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Raise your glass and toast your ancestors, fam. Just, Just raise, raise your, your glass. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Or should water. I say, raise, toast, then drink. Take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath. Lift and pour yourself some water. Pour. Move your body, drink some water. Move it. Raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Breathe, lift, move, toast. But remember to stay healthy, remember the four pillars. Breathe, drink, eat, move. Drink half your weight in ounces. Eat a culturally appropriate diet. Behave. Take your breath. Come on, come on. Drink your water. 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 Drink Move your body, come on, come on. Toast your ancestors, drink up. Come on, drink it, drink it, drink it. Come on, you do it. Come on, drink it, lift it, drink it. Come on, drink that health in. Drink, 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 drink. 
drink your water. Take your breath. Take your breath. Take your breath. Lift and pour. Lift it. Move your body. Come on. Come on. Toast your ancestors. Drink. 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 Drink your water. Drink, 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 drink. Come on, come on. Drink, drink your water. Take your breath. Lift it, pour. Come on, pour it. Move your body. Come on, come on. Toast your ancestors. Drink, 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 drink. What? Drink your water. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Mm-hmm. I'm still drinking. I'm sending out invites because, family, we have started. I know, I know, I know. But I kind of went back. Um, I got a private group on Facebook for Giammy Journey. And, um, you know, my mama, mama Margarita is a heavy poster in that piece, so I wanted to make sure that I was able to get her, but not necessarily get everybody out there, so this is a private good group on Facebook, although I, I stream all my shows over again on all the platforms, um, I want to make sure that I'm reaching everybody I need to reach, you understand what I'm saying, so you know, I got a private group that I haven't been taking advantage of, I haven't been using, as a matter of fact, also I have a group on telegram that i need to go and post up and let them know at least those that are interested don't want to get on nobody's nerves you know what i'm saying i don't want to get on nobody's nerves but you know oftentimes you know unfortunately that's what brother hot term end up doing but please please realize that it is a mistake of the heart and not of the mind so let me go on i'm, j I'm just trying to where is it at i want to post up this right here copy for today's show, putting it on the Telegram, sending it out to Telegram so people can come over to. Now, the best way to listen to us and to support Jamie at the same time, they're like, how you do that, Brother Hartum? The best way to do all that is to go to our Spreaker channel. It's Jamie uh, Journey Show. You know what I'm saying? You can look up G&J. You can look up Giammy Journey Media. You can look up Brother Hatim. We on Spreaker. And the best way to listen to us is to get us on our podcast. If you like to see it live and you like to see the facial expressions and stuff like that, by all means, you go and you can tune in. Now, we're going to stream here. And if I'm able to create a private uh, YouTube YouTube stream, I'll do that as well. But I already got a private group jumping off here on Facebook. So, you know, if y'all know people that might be interested in participating in the actual show and have a conversation in the actual show, especially when I have time. I haven't had time to sit down and really have a, a, a discussion or really go through the news because we've been doing the rant I've been doing has been on um, the books because I'm working something out. Those of you that's out there, y'all see some of the stuff that uh, have been being released. Um, I, you know, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Um, I got a couple of things that I have to do today. Um, but uh, it, it's all beautiful. It's all good. It's great to be here and standing in the congregation of the mighty, the home of the stubborn, not minority, the place where your hustle builds muscle. This is... Giami Journey Media. I am your host, Brother Hot Tim. And of course, you know, today we are on emojis, so we want to give all of the emoji babies a round of applause. Give it up for them. Give it up for them. Come on now. Y'all can do better than that. Come on. Y'all can do better than that. All right, so we are on the Emoja Day. And, of course, you know this is a Heart of a Simba production. All day, air day. Well, we strive, strive, strive to blow up your old paradigms. They got to go. They got to go. 
We gotta blow them up, blow them up. Um, family, now y'all know we are still, we are on day 21 of Freedom Within Limits. Day 21 of Freedom Within Limits. And we have hit the chapter called Mastery. And I'm looking forward to this. We almost at the end, fam. We almost at the end. So um, we only got a couple more days. You know what I'm saying? And we'll be done with this one. And I could start my project that I'm trying to do with all of the books that I've read. And we can start getting into some news and start having some other rants. You know what I'm saying? Maybe even open up some of the lines if I get enough people on here to do that because we got ways of doing that. You know what I'm saying? We got def we definitely have ways of being able to do that. Because I'm 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 wondering if I mean of course we could still go to the black line, but I'm matter of fact we could go to the black line. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna complicate shit. You know what I'm saying? Um so we go to the black line. Um uh, you can look me up also for those that want information on Telegram. Um, you can look me up there or the best way to stay in touch with Giami Journey is go to gnj.media, go on and sign up for our email list, get the daily email. I'm telling y'all right now, the email in the next, in the coming year is going to be getting better and better. We sent out a daily email with a proverb that inspires you and some words about what we're going to be talking about. If we even have anything to talk about, you know, sometimes we just might have, the, the show credit go out. You know what I'm saying? Right now we got uh, a lot to write up on and a lot of stuff to talk about. So I'm going to just type in some ideas, generate some ideas to talk about, and, and we're going to get in. We're going to hit it. We're going to hit it hard. You know what I'm saying? Because we got to, we got to, got to do our thing. All right. So um, right now what we are going to do, we are going to go into... Um, the Freedom Within Limits. So, Anime, if you would, please, baby, can you get everything ready for me? Uh, I'd like to see you pick up that horn. Go ahead. Uh, all right, go ahead. Blow the horn. <laughs> I don't know how she do her beak like, but it's cool. It's cool. All right, and also, could you put my uh, my theme music, please, on? For you coffee drinkers out there, if you want to support the journey, go and get yourself one of those Giami Journey coffee cups. It's a little bit overpriced, but you know what I'm saying? You're supporting a good cause. Go and support the journey, right? <sighs> Nothing like some nice, smooth coffee. Now, what I also started off the day was I was drinking on um, um, some mushroom coffee. You know what I'm saying? Some mushroom coffee. That shit was good. All right. You know. So before I start calling names off as we start growing, I'm going to be very careful because, like I said, I was. And this is before. Well, all right. I guess this. I'm in my rant time now. You know what I'm saying? But um, I was checking out um, Tim Ferriss. I don't know if you all you all familiar with Tim Ferriss. Well, anyway, Tim Ferriss sent out an email once a, once a week where he's giving out his picks of the week type stuff. And I want somebody at Giami Journey to be able to do something like that. You know what I'm saying? Where you, like, once a week, they're able to send out an email. I'm watching this series on Netflix. I'm reading this book. I'm drinking this coffee or I'm, I'm, I'm sampling this wine. I'm doing this workout. That's what Tim Ferriss, oh, that's one of his, that's one of his, one of his many streams of income. It's crazy, right? But anyway, but that's what happens when you hit when you hit a point of mastery. But anyway, let's get our let's get started. Can we start the timer, anime? Anime has started the timer. Let's get it. We are on mastery. Chapter called Mastery. We are coming once again from Freedom Within Limits. Haku Baha Tim. You should have this in your library if you are a G and J Media dot support. Or a supporter, or if you're a media, if you're a tribe supporter, um, you should have this. But anyway, man, I'm telling you, man, somebody, somebody messed up one of my my Scobies, my Scoby pack over here, and these gnats are ridiculous. But I'm gonna have to go on, uh, you know. America needs entrepreneurs creating, not jobs to be work. Let me say that again. Haiku, America needs entrepreneurs creating, not jobs to be worked. 
Men and women with vision is what is needed today. We need those that are willing to create jobs and not just search for them. While speaking to many young people in my community, the major thing that I heard repeatedly was about the need for jobs. It seems as if we are in denial about the state of the world. Jobs are vanishing. Remember how old this is, family. And leaving opportunity for those who train themselves to see uh, train themselves to see them. We must spark the desire to create jobs. We must foster the entrepreneurial spirit in ourselves and our youth. The day of the government and or factory job is going away of the dinosaur. We will be fo forced to defend for ourselves. This, for most, will sound terrifying, but for those on their journey, this sounds like opportunity. In times of change and confusions, confusion, that is when the sheroes rise to create something new. The new mind state that has to come from those on their journey is how do we provide employment? How do we create value? What skills do I have? What can I teach? What do I need to learn? Where is my tribe? And etc. In times like these, we, we get to see our spiritual power in action. Many of us on this journey have to create bricks from mud. We have to do the impossible. We have to create value where there is perceived to be none. We have to create opportunities in places that are perceived to be barren. We have to plug into that higher power and release our true creative potential. The opportunity that lies before us now are incredible. This is definitely a time for heroes. We'll be the ones that have step up. We will be the ones that have step up for our kids and our elders who have stepped up for our kids and elders. The state has shown us that they are not capable to take care of themselves. Why, why or should we trust them with our living libraries, elders, and our future children? To do so will be madness. Let's tap that creativity to become the entrepreneurs that our communities as well as this nation needs. To be a master, this is a haiku, to be a master, 10,000 hours you need practicing your skill. On this journey that many of us boldly walk, we often have to travel alone, and this gives us time to take action to get the one thing that many people neglect. This thing is mastery of our chosen skill. In these days, mastery is not stress. We are told that we should be well-rounded and be able to do many things well, rather than focusing our time and effort into one thing. This week, during my study, I came across a quote that really helped put that, this haiku into perspective. My whole life, I have heard the saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket. One basket. I have even given this advice to people I love, thinking I was looking out for their best interests. In actuality, when we give this advice, we end up stripping the world of a possible master of a necessary skill. This saying has us submitting ourselves to all types of trainings and classes, wasting our time trying to be well-rounded so that we can fit in with everyone else around. Those who pursue this path may be dooming themselves to the path of a jack of all trade, master of none. Worse, we deprive the world of a master. Back to my daily study of quotes and proverbs. I found a quote by Andrew Carnegie that confirmed what came to me earlier this week. He stated, put all your eggs in one basket and watch that basket. This flips, this flips the conventional wisdom on its head. It also promotes thoughts that help people get unstuck in their lives. Those of you that have chosen to begin your journey seek mastery. Developing your skill will always pay for itself. Just learn to look at each mistake as an investment in yourself. I am stuck on mastery, and I'm truly seeing a lack of masters. For me, masters bring a balance to society by setting an example of dedication to their craft that speaks to our young people. They also present opportunities for others to seek mastery by becoming an apprentice. The apprenticeship tradition has vanished here, and I think that we need to bring it back. Mastery also motivates adults to push to something beyond themselves. It appears to me that we have built a society that rewards mediocrity and have stopped pushing our young people, or better yet, luring them towards mastery. I firmly believe that when young people are given the lure to mastery, we don't have to worry about many of the issues that we are dealing with. 
When we build masters, we invest in the future of our society. Now, let's look at the number 10,000. This number came to me three in three ways. A few years ago, I was listening to one of my wise elders give a young man advice about his career choice. This elder listened very closely to what the young man said and then told the young man, it is good that you have decided on what it is that you want to do in life. My suggestion to you is to get involved with with that field of work and make your first 10,000 mistakes as soon as you can. I later approached the elder and asked him, why would you tell a young man to take 10,000? To, to, to make 10,000 mistakes. The elder stated that 10,000 mistakes is what it would take for anyone in any field to become the best at what they did. The next time I heard this number, 10,000 was in a recent discussion with one of my brothers who stated that his, his research had revealed that it takes 10,000 hours in a field to become proficient at that skill. He then followed up the statement with examples of individuals who were at the top of their fields and traced their success back to the 10,000 hours of practice. Third place I ran into the number 10,000, which predated these first two encounters, was the first time I picked up the Tao Te Ching. In there, there was four, um, verse 42 that states, the Tao begot one, one begot two, two begot three, and three begot the 10,000 things. When I look at the number, I see the power to generate. We all know that there are, are way more things in the universe than 10,000, but that number is a good number to wrap your mind around. And being able to wrap our minds around it, we can open up to the infinite possibility it opens up for us. To make a long blog short and not get into the numerology of the number, it is easy to see that the number 10,000 is a good number because it is big enough to keep the mind busy, but small enough to grasp and work with. So for those of you on your journey, seek mastery and to achieve it, practice, practice, practice. Here we go. Hustle means to move. To move faster and better than competition. That's a haiku. Hustle means to move. To move faster and better than competition. Are you a hustler? Or are you being hustled? <laughs> living life so busy that you have no time moving from pillar to post but in all of your motion going nowhere we are surrounded by so-called hustlers people who are in a, in motion building money building monuments to nothingness not realizing the true definition of a hustler to be a hustler we have to not only be in motion but we have to be moving toward a goal hustlers have to be moving better and faster than their competition as we travel on this journey we have taken time to lay out our goals we have to figure out who is our competition and we have to continually move toward improving what we do one of the major things we have to be willing to do is is find ourselves a model to learn from being a hustler is a learned skill and it is better for us when we can follow the paths that have been blazed we have to always be open to new information that helps us grow. The hustler for us today is an important archetype, and I don't think we pay enough attention to. We seem to focus only on the negative aspect, but the hustler concept is neutral. It depends on how we use the power. The problem is that this energy archetype fits into the trickster category. And it is very hard to control. If we are not careful, we end up running in place, feeling we are doing something when in fact nothing is being accomplished. Learning to control this energy in our life makes us more powerful and it enhances our journey. A true hustler has a, mirac has a miraculous power to create something out of nothing. But this same power, because it flows from the trister spirit, can and will deceive us into believing we are making progress when in fact we are standing still. Those that are experienced in this journey recognize this energy, spirit or archetype. Historically, it has been called the tester and has been known to sit at crossroads. When we claim to be a hustler, we are calling this energy in our lives. If we are not ready to guide it, this energy will guide us to destruction. If you don't believe me, look around Look around you at all the so-called hustlers. So are you really a hustler that controls this energy or does this energy control you? If it controls you, prepare yourself for destruction or at least a very rough time. So once again, I ask, are you a hustler? 
or are you being hustled? Now, remember what we say, say, you know, you know, this is the place where your hustle builds muscle. This is where this come from. I just want y'all to know, one of the reasons I'm going through the book is because I want y'all to know that the philosophy that y'all hear around these parts is authentic. We live in it, right? I, I, I'm not just talking this. I'm not, you know, I, I'm, I, I, I'm living this, right? I'm true to this, right? And, and you know what I'm saying? And that this is important for any of y'all out there. I need y'all to understand because you got a lot of people running around talking this black shit, talking this consciousness shit, right? You know, consciousness is, is being awake. Consciousness is being able to create. See, being woke is not enough. Being conscious means that you are able to create. And if you go back just, what, a show or maybe two shows ago, we talked about the power of consciousness. It's deeper than just being awake. It's being able to create. The universe was created by a conscious entity, an entity becoming conscious of itself, right? When you become conscious of yourself, it's more than just being awake. It's being able to create, to, to, to procreate from yourself. But, ah, uh, you know, like I said, brother, I tell you, that's just fancy words, fancy smashy, don't know. You know what I'm saying? But hey, I'm just trying I, I I'm just trying to help y'all. That's it. I just want to help y'all. I want us to do better. Cuz we got to do better cuz our kids is dependent on us. Our future generations are dependent on us. All right? But hey, 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 hey. And man, if you could, baby, please blow that horn. We'll continue with the path down mastery tomorrow. And if you could please hit my theme music. Damn right. And as we say in Diame, class dismissed. Now get the hell up out my classroom. All right. So we are um we have a member request. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, let's go on, yeah. All right, cool. Welcome, Elder Isa Two. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Welcome, welcome, um, um, Elder Isa Two, um, to the Giami Journey Secret Group. You know what I'm saying? Also, those of you that are on, on, um, uh, uh, what is it called? What is that app called? Uh, Telegraph. You know what I'm saying? Look up gnj.media. You know what I'm saying? You can join, you know, just let me know you on there. Send me a message. I'll go on and add you to the group so that you could go on and know when we're doing stuff. Or you could just go to gnj.media. I don't know why y'all don't just go to gnj.media. So what we about to do, we about to toast the morning. But for those that don't know, every morning, every morning, we stream um, the uh, the toast on all of our platforms. Where we actually read the name of the answer, so we don't we don't do that right here, right now, right now. What we do is we do the rant and the focus of the day. Right now, we're focusing on the book called um, "Freedom Within Limits" by Brother Hot Tim. That's me. You know what I'm saying? And um, you know, we're building on it and just talking about it. I'm, I've been sharing some of my some of the philosophy of Giame um, moving into this Kwanzaa season. Wow, this book, my books, is gonna push us. Almost up into Kwanzaa, you know what I'm saying? So hey, hey, I ain't mad. But um, for those of you who want to add your ancestors to the list, those of you that want to add your ancestors to the list, you are welcome to do so. Um, once again, I want to remind you to be mindful that we have um other family members who would like to add uh people to the list. So. Be mindful about your list because some of y'all, I mean, because you get excited when you start really getting into your family history, your family lore, as uh, el um, as one of our elders would teach us. When you really start getting into the family story, you really get hyped up about it and you want to you want to share uh, with the world. and You want to show that, you know, you love your ancestors and you want to add your list, re not realizing that if you add all those to 
the Giami list, what you're doing is that you are making sure that somebody else's ancestors don't get 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 hurt. Because eventually we're gonna have to cut this list off. I know some of y'all are like, what? Yeah. Yeah, eventually we're gonna have to cut this list off. That's what's gonna happen. We're gonna have to uh cut the list off so that we can start adding new people. And some people who are not really active. I know y'all like, Brother Hot Tim, that's so wrong, brother. Why would you do it like that, Brother Hot Tim? Why would you do it like that? Some people who are not active, you know what I'm saying? Their ancestors um, are are going to be uh, removed. And I know that I know that sound messed up. I know that sound messed up, but that's the way it is. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, yo, I mean, you know, I, I want to salute those ancestors that's going to come and aid us. And if if they're represented on this planet, ain't aiding us now, why waste my time? You understand what I'm saying? I got people and I got ancestors that are in support of us every day. Every day. Right? So why deal with, you know, you know, someone who, I mean, this was a fad for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Now, um, also, we do the toast um, at 5.45 a.m. so that some people who want to set a schedule, who wants to set a systematic process up, you can join us. So every morning at 5.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can do the toast with us here at Giami Journey. All right. Um, uh, people will be on there to interact with you. You know what I'm saying? Um, like I said, I was up there this morning. You know what I'm saying? And, I, you know, greeting, trying to greet. But um, I'm just, just there. But for those of you that want to get your ancestors on the list, the process is very simple. Go to gnj.media, go to gnj.media, and you'll see a line at the bottom of the screen. When you first go there, you go to that line, it says email. Type your email in, click follow. You'll be added to our email list. Once you are added to our email list, right? Once you're added to our email list, you'll be able to interact with us once we send you an email. Once you're able to respond to us from that email, you'll be able to say, hey, Here's my ancestors, you know, in your subject line, put ancestors, hashtag ancestors, hashtag ancestors for daily toast, ancestors for daily toast, however you want to put it. Just put ancestors up in there. We'll figure it out and we'll get it. Also, you don't just have to email us about that. If you have suggestions for the show, if you want to know about something, if you have a certain subject that you want me to talk about, if you want us to have a book that we possibly could cover in our little uh, 10 minute segment, we could do that. Um, if you need self-mastery coaching, if you need help with your 21-day and Guza Saba challenge. In fact, um, I just posted up the 21-day and Guza Saba challenge. I am about to do another um, book on it. I'm putting together uh, a, hard, a hard copy, right? Um, as a matter of fact, um, I think tomorrow or maybe sometime um, right before... Uh, the Chris, right before Christmas, I'm gonna show y'all what the hardback book is gonna look like because I don't have the skills to make uh, a writable PDF yet. I am working on it. I'm thinking about how to make that possible. But for those that do want a writable PDF in Giame on our um, on in our 21 day in Guza Saba challenge. Um, on, um, um, like I said, I could put the link up. I'll put the link up for the 21 day in Guza Saba challenge. You'll see if you go to GME journey, I posted it up yesterday. Um, and I would advise, look, coming into this Kwanzaa season, listen, family, go on, get that 21 day in Guza Saba challenge and work through it. Right now. Also, what I have is I have, I'm expanding. I'm, I'm going to have an expanded, um, in Guza Saba challenge. See, that one is a 21 day. What I'm going to do is I'm creating an extended in Guza Saba challenge. So you can have a seven day challenge. You can have a three day challenge. You can have a seven day challenge. You can have a 14 day challenge, 21 day challenge, 60. You could do as, uh, a long, as long as a challenge as you want. That's why I want to bring the hardback book out because I want people to get, you know, not only because I, I like to type in two, but I want people to be able to write down their stuff so that they could have a book, put it up into their bookcase. Pull it out a few years later and see where they were. 
see what challenge they was going through, right? On a 21 day challenge, you know, like, cause like I try to do at least one 21 day challenge per year. I just, I just yesterday, yeah, last night was the completion of one of my seven day challenges, right? And with, with the, with the Nguza Saba challenge, I leave it open with the 21 day Nguza Saba challenge. I ask you certain things. Like I know some of y'all be like, like the cold shower, the warrior diet. Are you, are you keeping up with that? I leave space for you to write. You know what I'm saying? Do you, are are you following on with the proverb of the day? Are you checking out the folk tale of the week? You know what I'm saying now. Um, and as people start getting into that, I could go on and let them know what the folk tales and all that stuff is. And um, of course, it's going to require us to do another piece. But you know, um, you know, like I said, once people start getting into it, we could go and start popping it off and getting it and getting y'all to start building because it's ah, it's a beautiful thing. But anyway. Um, I don't even know how I got on that anyway, but you know, y'all can put your ancestors in there. But like I said, once you can interact with us and it just don't have to be about the ancestors, you can ask us questions, you can make comments, you can do whatever you want and interact with us. Once you get on our email list, another way that you get on our email list, you go to Giami for those of you, those of you that really want to brush up on Giami, all things Giami, right? Go to Giami um, we have, I have a blog with thousands of articles and videos, right? See, cause you, you'll go to it now and you'll see all these videos, but that's like five years worth of videos. Cause the videos took place of the actual writing, but what's about to start happening is that the writing is going to start again because some of the young people are going to come in and start adding content to the Giami journey piece because we have a social media piece and part of the social media, believe it or not, is writing. <laughs> some, some of my young people come on thinking they can just go be able to get up here and do what brother Hot Tim do and not realizing it was a process for Hot Tim to be sitting up here talking every day. You understand what I'm saying? I had to become the authority at what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? I had to become the authority. I had to write. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that blogging, not the vlogging, that vlogging, that blogging, that B-L-O-G-G-I-N-G was a very important step in my personal initiation, right? See, because oftentimes what we don't understand is, family, if the initiation is not there for you, that is your initiation. <laughs> the absence of initiation is your initiation, what are you doing with your time? Right? Because I could have, you know, I could have woke up and did a 40 ounce a day. You understand what I'm saying? I could have woke up and smoked some weed. But I started looking for the things that I wanted. You know, that I wanted a mentor to bring into my life. I started creating those things for myself. So that the young people, the next generation, when I find the young high Tim that's looking for that, I will be able to provide them with it so that they, so that he... Or she won't have to start all the way from scratch. Y'all don't hear me though. Y'all don't hear me though. Y'all don't hear me though. Um, I'm just saying. They don't hear me. They don't hear me. I I, I understand. I understand. I, I I'm 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 talking French. I, I I'm talking French. It's it's rough. It's rough out here, right? You know what I'm saying. I they don't hear me though, right? But I'm cool. I understand. I understand. I ain't even mad about it. I ain't mad about you not hearing me at all. You know what I'm saying? But it's cool. Now, also, family, for those of you that want to support GNJ.media, also other ways that you can do it, you can get our e-courses. Um, and and like I said, I'm gonna start advertising those a little bit more. Um, if you're in a private group, you go on day up. You know what I'm saying? Um, we got the 21 day and Saba challenge. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, Bay New Health just launched on on us too. So I'm going to work on that. Um, so you're going to be able to check out and get that Bay New Health because it's coming. Right? Um, also, um, we got uh, the Kwanzaa 365. Kwanzaa hashtag Kwanzaa 365 gear popping off. You know what I'm saying? Uh, um, sh I mean, shirts were selling while I was asleep. I'm like, what? So we want to give that a round of applause. Get your Kwanzaa shirt, family. Get your Kwanzaa shirt. Get your Kwanzaa shirt. I ain't playing. 
Y'all think somebody playing. We're not playing here, Giami Journey, right? Get your 21 day Guza Saba challenge um, in, in Guza Saba challenge package, right? Check this out because, like I said, what I'm going to be offering with this is the personal coaching, right? Whether, you know, because like I'm saying, I'm going to be doing an or, or the group coaching. Let me put it that way because I'm not going to be able to do everybody. But with that, with that coaching piece, I will be able to set up something for people in the evening where um, where you can get, uh, well, actually, you're going to be able to get the proper, proper of the day, but you're going to have to, we're going to have to t- get together at least once a week so that you could get um, the folk tale for the week. Very simple process, very easy process. We could do it. We could do it. We could do it. Right? I had the discussions. Right? You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, and if there's enough people and enough interest, that's something that we could do on a regular basis because basically what that is is that's an offshoot of folk tale for grown folks and tribal quotes i don't think they heard me i don't think they heard me but by the way speaking of tribal quotes we got a new tribal quotes coming it's going to be coming strong in the new year as a matter of fact i'm gonna have to start getting stuff arranged because brother kwame has already probably shot probably seven episodes so at least the first seven weeks of 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 2022, y'all gonna be able to get some good stuff from Brother Kwame. Um, but I think that's it. So let's go on and let's let's toast this moment. Let's toast this moment. Toasting the moment. That's what we do. Toasting the moment from me to you. So now remember, those of you that are new to the journey, we, you know what I'm saying, we believe in in, in pouring libations for our ancestors. But first, we got to pour libations for ourselves. Why? Because our vessels, right? Those of you that remember the story of G, I will be packaging up the story of G too. Those of you that are familiar with the story of G will realize that in Giamme, the body of what we call the body in Giamme, we look at it as the vessel because it's the vessel that carries us. It's the tool. It's it's well, I ain't even just the tool. It's deeper than that. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a major component in the five parts of our being, right? And we were blessed with it. And in order for us to make sure that we are able to serve our ancestors and serve our creator and serve our future generations, because to be a Giami man or be a Giami woman, it is about living a life of service and being able to serve. Now, let me because I, I, I have to say this. It bothers me that I could look around and. A lot of our people are not able to serve. And what do you mean by that, Tim? Okay, yeah. I mean, yeah. In in a peaceful situation, they could serve. They could read to the kids. They could, you know what I'm saying? But if some emergency happened and your ass got to get up over a wall and, and pull three people up or lift people up over a wall, you know what I'm saying, to get them to safety, if you have to run with a child on your back, you see what I'm saying? Because, because a lot of, a lot of time, like I was talking, I was talking to one of my sisters this weekend. And, um, one of the things that came up was, um, the, in some form of fashion, the term came up where, uh, where she said she didn't need family or tribe. And I was like, what you're talking, you're talking modern gibberish, Right. Because there is no way is that if you were in, you know, I call it, yeah, first world gibberish, right? Because the only place that you can say some shit like that is in a first world country right now, which is America. But let shit start falling off and you will see how important the family and even more important, how important the tribe is. Because I keep telling people, if you look at how society's built... There is no way that individuals were able to shape what we have. White supremacy did not come come into fruition because of an individual. It came in it came into fruition because tribes, groups of people came together. Different families, 
united on an idea and they had uh they had they had the mythology they had the the the, the stories they had the ideas they united them strong enough so that they could make sure that they could create this thing that we call the white hegemony, hegemony that we are dealing with right now right and um And for us to think that an individual could deal with that, because what they have established, they establish tribes. But where do tribes hide? Tribes hide in institutions. See, the institutions in modern society, in the social structure, institution took the place or is the tribe. Because it's these institutions, right? Because it's these institutions that enable the families to exist. See, I want to believe that families nor individuals can actually really truly exist or develop in a healthy format if they did not have tribes to protect them, which was groups of men and women who were willing to live and die for them and for their right to exist. Please understand. Slavery, you could go on with all the other shit. Right? But I'm going to say this. Slavery destroyed the tribe, the family, and the individual. And the only way that you was able to formulate any of those things was if you under if you created it up under their social structure with their permission. But hey, I don't know what I'm talking about. But anyway, back to what I was saying. You got to be able to service the ancestors. You got to be healthy yourself. So in Giami, we start off with the water. So, I, I, you know, like I said, part of the ritual, part of the ritual is that every morning we get up, and we sing our water song. But it reminds us, drink you some damn water. Get you some water every day. Start the day off with some water. Here, um, I do ambrosia. Ambrosia is um, that ambrosia is a uh, um, kombucha made from green tea and honey available in Columbus. You know what I'm saying? Um, Cleve and some of the other younger um, Giami warriors are going to be taking that over. Um, well, actually, Cleve actually took over. He increased the price. It's $50 per gallon now. Um, but, see, because, uh, it, you know, they listen, right? It's thirty dollars if you pay in Bitcoin. Let's get them young. Let's get them young boys around applause. But also, <clears throat> but also, now, if you are uh, a supporter and you reach out and be like uh, Brother Hot Tim, starting this month with uh, my payment of the the monthly subscription. Or same thing with people in the tribe with my payment of um, dues, Brother Hot Tim. You know what I'm saying? I would like to, I would like to receive um, tokens. So when you pay your dues or you pay your supporter fee, you get a certain amount of tokens. And those of you that are involved intimately with us, we could make way for you to be able to get tokens to exchange with some of the members of Giame because all of the members of Giame within the tribe who are looking to advance within our system have to be able to accrue a certain amount of uh, a certain amount of tokens. And since I forgot a little small factor in how I set up this whole token thing, <laughs> right? Since I forgot how I set up this whole token thing, I'm gonna have I be, I'm able to because at first I thought I was gonna have to print some more, but I don't have to print no more. I just have to adjust the system. I'm gonna adjust the system very quickly. I'm about to adjust the system. I got to do some rewrites. Um, what's out there is already out there. Other than that, <clears throat> it is what it is. But anyway, so I'm gonna pour this. We're gonna pour, we're gonna toast. And I know y'all like, brother, I can you drag on, brother, drag on and on. He don't stop. He don't shut up. He just keep going. Just keep going. But anyway, 
We lift up our glass. We salute the creator by whatever name you choose to call that creator. We lift up our glass. And since we do this every morning already, the creator has already been toasted by us. But we just want to throw a little flavor on there. And we say, Ashe. <laughs> From there, <clears throat> speaking of that, y'all just reminded me, I need to go and add an ancestor, and the ancestor um, won't be officially read until next week, but I am going to send out a special shot for this ancestor because this one hits close to home. All right, um, and I also want to, in this libation, I want to lift up some of the ailing members in our local community, because we need to start sending that energy out, family. So those of you out there, if you have people that you want to put on the moment list, you can do that, you know what I'm saying, in the moment, you know what I'm saying, that we need to send out that balance, what I call that balance healing energy. Right, because sometimes people don't need all good to come their way. Sometimes people need something to kick them in their ass to, to get them to make some changes. Right, so you know, um, we want to be aware of that. So we lift up our glass. We salute our personal ancestors, and I want to add one for uh, the list. Um, it was brought to my attention yesterday that sadly, Sister Bobby. Um, Bobby Battle has made transition, so we want to lift up our personal ancestors, and we say, Ashe. From there, we want to move to the, um, the personal moment. Right now, this, this moment right now, family, we are in. This moment is important. This is our time, right? This is our time. Those of us that are, that are conscious, those of us that are in motion right now, to create the create the creator and the ancestor has made it possible has gifted us this moment has gifted us the space and time that we are able to move in and the question that all of us have to answer and we're going to be responsible for is what did you do with what i gave you what did you do with your inheritance what did you do with the talents did you hide them or did you invest them? And did you grow them? Right? This is the key piece that we have to deal with, family. There's no way that we could be the system that moves 24 hours a day on weekends and spare time. We have to figure out ways to make it possible for people to work in our interest 24-7. That's what tribe building is about. That's what nation building is about. If we're not talking about that, then we're playing games. And we have moved to a point where we need to stop playing games. Because I'm in total agreement with, uh, with uh, Mama Margarita when she said we will win. I agree. We will win. And, but we have to get serious. We will win when we start taking the game serious, when we start taking it serious. Many of us just want to continue playing. I'm not playing no more. Gee, I ain't playing no more. But anyway, we are in the moment. What are you doing with your moment? So I ask you to open up your reticular formation and, and, and today focus and find Umoja. Umoja is out there. Make it work for you. Work with it. Use it in your language. Use it in a sentence. Use it when you conversate with a young person. Use it when you conversate with an elder. Use it when you uh, um, 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 have a discussion with one of your peers. Use it in your life. Look out in the world and see it and claim it and call it to you. Our principles are our principles are alive, family. They're out there, and we have to start recognizing them. They just they're screaming. It's like our ancestors. They're screaming. For us, I'm here. I'm here. You don't see it? No, we're so busy looking. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's sort of like they over here waving and we busy looking at the shiny fuck-ups. We looking at the shiny fuckery. And unity is over here and we missing it. All these other principles over here, we're missing it. And I'm saying, hey, focus on it, right? Focus on those that's practicing it. 
Have conversations with them. Have conversations with people when you say emoji and they say, oh, unity. And you be like, oh, you know what it means. Okay, cool. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Well, why when you say emoji, why don't you just say unity? I'm not saying unity because unity does not carry the same spiritual power and the same spiritual currency as the word emoji. But other people don't feel comfortable with damn their comfortability. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, so today, for those that don't speak the language, emoji means unity. The modic principle for the day is truth. The color is violet, as you can check out right here. I got the shirt. Um, violet. Um, and those of you that are interested in the shirt, go to G and J. No, go to merch.gnj.media. Once again, go to merch. I'm going to put that up. Go to merch. G and J. Media. Boom. I'm going to put it up over here. Let's, let's, let's put it on. Um, I'm going to put it up on merch.gnj.media. And I'm also going to put it up on here. Merch. Oh, uh, Dentista, we're going to have to talk, baby, because my thing keeps falling off, man. What's going on, man? Uh, where my chat at? Can I get my chat back? My chat box done just fell off on me. Oh, there it go. Merch.gnj.media. I have figured out how to organize it. It's a little bit more organized. So you could go into it and really, really, really start getting, you know what I'm saying, getting invested. You know, it, 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 it's dope. I'm just trying to let y'all, it's dope. Just letting y'all know. Um, but anyway, um, uh, mentalism is the hermetic principle of the day. Male name for the day is Quojo. Female name is Ajua. So we lift up our glass. We salute. We salute this moment. We salute the power in this moment. We recognize it and for its power, and we take our responsibility and we lift up our glass and we say, I shall. From there, we move forward. We move with power. And we move towards our children. We lift them up. We salute our children, our children's children, onto infinity because we want to make sure as long as we're taking our responsibility and we're doing what we're supposed to do in the moment, they will always have a future. So we pledge that, that we will always be here. We lift up our glasses. We say, I say. And before I get to the final piece, I want to make sure that, um, um, well, actually, this is the final piece. I want to lift up um, some of the elders and some of the brothers in, in, in our village that need that healing energy. If you have any people out there that need it, by all means, hit us up at gnj.media. Go on over there and, um, you know, sign up for the email list and let us know. You know what I'm saying? Um, because this, this stuff works. Listen to me. So um, I'm sending out shots to Brother Quasi Low. We just finished a, a, a seven day process. We finished a, a, a GN, uh, we finished a, um, hashtag and Guza Saba challenge, a seven day one um, for him. We got Elder Tony um, West. We got Elder Aziza West. We got Sister Debbie Bowie. You know what I'm saying? That um, our need of this balanced energy that we generate every morning, that we have been generating for the life. We're moving into year six, family. We got spiritual currency to blow. Let's send this energy out. We want our energy. We want our ancestors. We want the creator to reach out to all of our family members out there, named and those that are unnamed, to be blessed and to be protected and be lifted up. And if need be, pushed into the right direction. <laughs> So we lift up our glass, we salute, and we say, Ashe. Oh, for those that don't know, this is the mythic, this is the mythic uh, Phoenix Egg, Bainu, which is the owner of Bainu Health. Bainu is an actual Phoenix. He asked us to protect it for him. You know what I'm saying? So in the Phoenix tradition, Phoenix, male Phoenix take care of the egg. So he said, Hey, I need y'all to hold this for me while I'm handling this health business. I'm going to bring y'all money, paying us on a regular basis. That's what he's doing. 
You know what I'm saying? He said it could hatch any day now, between now and ten thousand years. And he said, and, and and it's a good luck. It's good luck, and people that hold it are blessed. So in, in our myth, in our myth, we are blessed. We got to hold this. We got to at least stick together, Giamma, until the egg egg hatch. So we lift our glass. We say, I say, I say, I say. It's called myth making. Those that don't understand, it's cool. I understand. Y'all don't understand. I wish you peace, power, joy in 100 years. And as we say in Giammi Cat in, because you know what? This is our thing. All right. So, peace. Least to. We're going to play this song out on um, Spreaker. But YouTube, my fault. Facebook video, whoever you are, peace. <laughs> Mr. Diddy.
All right, family, go out and conquer the day. Go and conquer the day. We are out. See you on an adventure.